Czechia has signed contracts to supply 180,000 artillery rounds for Ukraine within the framework of its initiative and is currently working on acquiring 300,000 more. Petr Fiala, Prime Minister of Czechia, said this in his column for Financial Times ahead of his visit to Washington. The situation in Ukraine is critical. As the war enters its third year, the country's armed forces are under unprecedented pressure. They are running out of ammunition, meaning they are forced to make difficult decisions every day. This makes it extremely hard to hold their lines, the very lines that will decide the security and future of the whole of Europe," he added. Fiala stated that the reason for the success of the Czech initiative of seeking ammunition for Ukraine is deceptively simple. We are working to secure a further 300,000 rounds and have already contracted the first 180,000. These will be delivered to the Ukrainian front in the coming months, Fiala reported. The Czech prime minister indicated that about 20 countries, including Denmark and the Netherlands, had joined the initiative. The Fiala added that the Czech initiative also gives the West time to accommodate to the new situation in which war is changing our world. This means we can no longer avoid fundamental changes at home, such as strengthening societal resilience and rebuilding sufficient defense capacity. We need to get used to the fact that a responsible security policy must include much greater investment in defense to deter attackers. China sharply increases sales of technologies to Russia to help its war effort in Ukraine. U.S. data shows that China has sharply increased its sales of machine tools to Russia, as well as microelectronics and other technologies that Moscow uses to produce missiles, tanks, aircraft, and other weapons for its war against Ukraine, reports Associated Press. The sources of the media outlets reported that Russia received about 90% of its microelectronics imports from China in 2023. In addition, almost 70% of Russian imports of machine tools worth about $900 million in the last quarter of 2023 were also of Chinese origin. Furthermore, Chinese and Russian companies are working on joint production of drones in Russia and Chinese companies are likely to provide Russia with nitrocellulose needed to make rocket fuel. China-based companies Wuhan Global Sensor Technology Company Wuhan Tongsheng Technology Company Limited and Hikvision are providing optical components for use in Russian tanks and armored vehicles. The official said Russia has received military optics for use in tanks and armored vehicles manufactured by Chinese firms, Iray Technology and North China Research Institute of Electro Optics, and China has been providing Russia with UAV engines and turbojet engines for cruise missiles. According to data from the Russian customs analyzed by the Free Russia Foundation, Russian semiconductor imports from China surged from $200 million in 2021 to over $500 million in 2022. Beijing is also working with Russia to enhance its satellite and other space-based capabilities for use in Ukraine. This, according to officials, could increase the long-term threat Russia poses to Europe. Officials citing intelligence stated that the US has also identified China providing Russia with satellite imagery for its war against Ukraine. U.S. officials discussed the findings as Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to visit China this month for talks. In October 2023, the U.S. Department of Defense stated that China supplies weapons to Russia, including drones, small arms and equipment. U.S. deploys additional resources to Middle East due to Iran threat. The Pentagon deploys additional resources to the Middle East as Israel and the United States prepare for a possible Iranian attack on Israeli targets in the country and the region as a whole, according to CNN. According to an anonymous American official, the aim of the move is to bolster regional deterrence efforts and increase force protection for U.S. forces. The Pentagon is working on enhancing the air defense of American troops stationed in Iraq and Syria which have been subjected to over 100 attacks by Iran-backed proxy forces from October to February. The U.S. does not anticipate Iran to attack American forces in retaliation, but is relocating forces just in case. U.S. President Joe Biden expects Iran to attack Israel sooner than later. I don't want to get into secure information, but my expectation is sooner than later. Biden told reporters when asked how inevitable an Iranian attack on Israel is. He also addressed Iran and said, don't. He also noted that the United States is devoted to the defense of Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel and we will help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed, Biden said. In early April, 
the Israeli military attacked the Iranian consulate in Damascus. The building was completely destroyed and a high-ranking Iranian general was killed in the attack. Amid this, Iran has repeatedly threatened to retaliate for such a strike. The White House has stated that the threat of an attack on Israel is real. It was reported that on April the 12th, sirens, warning of a missile strike, sounded in northern Israel. Over 50 rockets were launched across the country from Lebanon. The responsibility for the rocket shelling of the Galilee Peninsula was claimed by the Hezbollah group. In its statement, the Lebanese group claims to have launched dozens of Katyusha rockets.